There was definitely a lot of hurt that I had felt on me. We're talking about we've known each other since we were 19. And all the years of doing it wrong, breaking up, getting back together, and all these things that were never healed from. So we talk about getting into a marriage, never healed from these things, and not having boundaries in place. So a combination of all these things, of course, leads to hurt. But with that, we have to understand as a people that these things lead to bitter roots. They, they lead to, to hurt. They spill over into other aspects and areas of our lives. Mm -hmm. And before we know it, we're drowning. We're never happy. We're never satisfied. So for him, that looked a certain way. For me, it looked a certain way. But with that, there is hurt. So was I hurt? Absolutely. There was a time that I was hurt. There was a time where I was fed up. I... I mean, everything that you could think of, I did, I did, I yelled at him, I cussed at him, I called him out of his name, I left these things and none of that, none of that was helpful. None of that was helpful um, and it was hurtful. It caused more hurt, more pain and more damage. Can I say something? Yeah. And I know I don't want to cut you off. Um, but I think in that time, even though I can appreciate you taking accountability for that and saying it wasn't helpful, I think it was totally, I think it was justified to feel what you felt and express it in oh, whatever way it came to you. Definitely. I mean, you're talking about other women, fuck, no, other women I got being you. with you. Right. <laughs> right. Excuse my language, guy. Right. No, you're talking about okay. that. You're talking about things that I have seen, pictures, videos that mm -hmm. I had seen well before anything was ever leaked to, in, to the public. I have seen things. And yes, I acted. Listen, the next time you cheat on me is going to be, the, be going to be the last. And when I found out about it, I left. <laughs> Again, I packed up everything that I could fit in my car and I left. And I didn't turn back. I didn't hesitate. When, he, when you came, I sent you back home <laughs> by yourself. And I told you, listen, do what you need to do. I'm going to do what I need to do. So um, why didn't I leave? Well, I actually did leave. And I stayed gone for almost all of last year and filed for divorce and i filed for divorce actually i did file for divorce um i had the best of the best whatever but i filed for divorce i said i'm not coming back i told you before we got married the next time you do it i'm going to leave and that's what i did i left and i stayed gone and the only reason i even entertained coming back and then now am back full fledged is because there was an actual shift in your mentality and how you how you just dealt with me. You was built on a lack of boundaries, <laughs> engagement. There were certain mentalities that he had that I could not stand. But um, I did in that time uh, try and to accept it but it just ended up to nothing so those things are have changed how he thinks about him just having contact with people that he has had sex with uh being friends with them still on instagram facebook youtube unacceptable unacceptable and now he understands why that is an issue and it's not something that i had to force on him i just packed up and left i said enough is enough and so with that in this new marriage he has completely continued staying to keeping those things eliminated letting me have access to everything and again allowing me to speak for myself okay so i don't need him to speak for me or any of the, uh, any of these things so with all of these things combined together is different his engagement in just our personal time at our time with our our family all of these things are different um how he how he speaks you you guys can tell in some of the video, videos that he's done that he talks different he um carries himself with a different air and all of these things are have translated into the new marriage that never existed 